What is up guys, SK here, and before I start, I have to say happy birthday Brandon, I hope you watch this video on the day, which is today, um, hope you have, well if, if it's not up, if this video is not up by, if this video is not up on, on Thursday, then I'm sorry, something happened, but it's obviously going to be up on Friday, if it's on Friday, but if it's on Thursday, happy birthday to you, and if it's on, and if it's, oh no, if it's on Thursday, happy birthday to you, and if it's on Friday, Still happy birthday to you, but sorry the video wasn't up on Thursday. But yeah, hope you hope you have a great time. Have a blast from the past. Hope it lasts. Anyway, <clears throat> guys. Um I think it's about time to be honest. My friend, me and my friend, me and my friends have been wanting to see this for time. Honestly, I don't know why I haven't brought them out. Just you know, the videos that I have. I want to bring out better videos than this because as I know and as we all know 100 pluses aren't impressive anymore but you know what finally here is another 100 plus this is with the M tar which was my favorite gun obviously because of the tar 21 from MW2 I really loved it but eh, it's, not, it's not really that sexy anymore for some reason it's just not sexy my favorite gun now can you believe it? Is actually in fact, in fact, in fact, in fact, the Remington. Honestly, the grind gameplay that I'm gonna show you on that map is gonna be absolutely insane. Well, I don't know. Is it? There's only one way to find out. Post it to use B stands for you to judge it. But yeah, I hope you enjoy that. I hope you enjoying this gameplay so far, even though it's looking a bit dead. But since it's a hundred plus, you know what? You might as well make it. You might as well not be a bitch about it, you know. If you're gonna bring out a hundred plus, you should at least not play passive. You know what I mean? Like, like everyone says, you know, if you're playing, if you're playing, if you're getting a hundred plus, you know, it's easy to get a hundred plus because all you have to do is camp. Let's let's just take this for instance. You know, you camp in this room and you'll get your streaks. But obviously, you know, if you if you want to at least make it a tiny, tiniest bit impressive you have to keep on moving keep it streaking and everything and i think yep yeah, this gameplay is after i prestiged as well that's why there's no scavenger that's probably why i'm using the mtar no actually no it no i'm not i was just going for this second plus of every gun i was doing that and the setup right here and you can tell because well you'll see on the leaderboard at the end and because of my streaks and because of my perks i don't have scavenger and I made a couple of mistakes with my permanent unlocks. I mean, I unlocked the AN94 first. I wasn't thinking I'd, I'd be an absolute idiot. So I went through that whole not having ghost again, which was absolutely painful. It killed me once again, like it did the first time round. But the first time round, I had double XP, so I didn't really have to worry. But I've got ghost now. I'm third prestige, level 17. And I have ghost. I chose the, v I chose the swarm over VSAT. And I've got... Yeah! But anyway, this street, these kill streaks right here, you're probably thinking, what the flip? Well, yeah, honestly, you'd think it wasn't possible, but it is, you know, not anymore anyway, but it is. You can still get 100 pluses, you know, with, with, with quite low setups on Xbox as well. You know, I'm using the Stealth Chopper, the Lodestar and the uh, Vito Warship, and it's probably it's probably a crazy setup. I just put that on because I didn't have VSAT. I should have, you know, I don't have VSAT, so that was absolutely crazy. So I just put this this streak on. You know, nothing's impossible, and I'll elaborate more on that in my video because that'll be titled one on, on one of my videos anyway. But anyway, real Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is probably the most realistic card to date i'm not even gonna lie there's a lot of stuff and basically this is kind of me going over a review of the game in one of its aspects anyway in the real the realty of it if that's that's not even a word i don't know but the, you know what you know what i mean the realty of it anyway like there's so much stuff that they've made real i mean mw3 you know you come a long way from cod 4 to mw2 black ops 2 you know i'll leave out the other cod because that was just Back in the day, the 1990s, and you know, not every, nothing was really that good. But yeah, you know, I love, you know, honestly, the way that the time scales that they have, it's, you know, like the way 
it's Treyarch just do it so beautifully the way they have it set in different times. I mean, COD, COD I mean, World at War was set in, you know, World War Two, I think. Yeah, it's on the back of the case, but it's in the drawer, and I'm can't be out checking. And you know, Black Ops One was set in the night. I think it was the nineteen. The nineteen. 70s or around then even though you probably you know what the sort of thing that isn't gonna pop into your head is you know the disco times and all that but obviously i don't think they were looking pretty funky in black ops 1 and you know here black ops 2 2025 so honestly it feels so real honestly i think i know these guys probably don't but i think this game has definitely has the best hit detection i mean shots that i used to shoot when i used to shoot at somebody in mw3 and i knew for a for a, you know, I just knew, I honestly knew for a 100%, I 100% knew that that shot would have hit him, it didn't hit him, but in Black Ops 2 I do it, and I'm not talking about, let's say, I'm not talking about someone in front of you, or someone running past you, I'm talking about, like, someone on the other side of the map, like, you know, I literally done a flip shot at him, and I know I should have hit him, and it actually hits him, so, you know, I have to rate him with that, you know, I have to give him props to that, and more to this, the... You know the kill streaks as well. This this this, this setting this time. The guns. Mm, these guns. Some of most most of the guns don't really look like 2025 guns. So yeah. I mean. Friendly care package inbound. Yeah, they just don't really do that. And the callouts that they do. You know you know how the, the callouts that they do. You know when you know the, 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 the team communication. You know that setting where you know you you can have your the chatter from you know your player to other players. Not, not, not on the mic, you know, you know when they're uh, kind of confusing these guys, but you know when, let's just say you throw a concussion grenade and a guy goes concussion out, there we go, there you go, you know, you know, that talk, they've, they've really improved it, but there's one thing that I think they've, they've definitely slacked on, and that is the, you know, the call out guy, and you call out six UAV, then you only mention three of them, which is absolutely weird. And sometimes you know you use the VSAT, you wouldn't even say it was online, the guy would say oh we'll VSAT on standby and he wouldn't even say that it's online and all that crap. Really I don't get that. And they need to and more to this, the patches they need to really they're not they're still not doing it. I mean, yes, they've patched the they've patched the they've patched the theatre, but they've they've not patched it fully. So what's the problem? What's the problem? That needs to get sorted out. And you know, wow, I thought I would have more more, more to this, but I don't, I mean, I need to think of other real stuff that this game has done as well. Hmm. Well, obviously, the graphics, obviously, the graphics are sexy. And, you know, yeah, the engine, the engine is absolutely, the, 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 the engine's actually different as well, and I think that's definitely more better and improved. Yeah, you Losing get, a. and what people say it is completely true, ahead. I think, I don't know, you just tell me. You know, you, when you play this game, you ha you actually have a Black Ops feel and the Modern Warfare feel at the same time. I mean, you know that thing on the, on the guy's wrist, you know, when you use your swarm or something, you tap it at the side. That was actually in um, MW3, you know, when you were uh, the, Delta, the Delta Force or Delta or the Delta team, you know, he, he, when he was when he would call something in or something, I'm not sure. But you know, he would have the thing on the side, and you know, it's kind of it's kind of nice, kind of a nice follow one that they have there. But at the moment, not everybody's liking Black Ops 2. So yeah, it's kind of bad. I mean, I hate it as well. I don't hate it. Thing is, this is my this is what I think, and it's what most people think. I'm sure that you know this is. The best Call of Duty to date, but in terms of gameplay and standard, it's MW3. I think that's how people need to rephrase it, because honestly, this game has a beast campaign, beast zombies. Even though Black Ops One zombies is actually better, and uh, definitely better than World at War as well. So these guys that love World at War zombies, but it's beast. But honestly, the only reason why I buy DLCs now is because of the Peacekeeper. I mean, the new guns. And the zombie maps. The DLCs are not that good, but I really love grind. But you'll see more videos on that later on. But this is Young Soldier SK. Happy birthday, Brandon, again. And I will see you in my next video. These guys. Bye.